hot take but youtubers aren't youtubers anymore they're now kind of like glorified companies to where they want their audience to buy their products or whatever they're selling and i'm not necessarily talking about views or engagement i'm kind of talking about the fact that every youtuber wants this to be a job and they want to shove sponsors down their audience throat that's kind of the end goal anymore like it's no longer about being thankful that your audience is watching your videos and or just like donating money on their own accord it's more so that they want to get these views and they want to become like bigger and bigger so that they can sell you things which i don't know if I agree with and not to say you shouldn't be earning money you should but at the same time like is it really okay to sort of exploit your audience like this basically treat them as a dollar sign I I don't think so I'm realizing that a lot of people are falling out of love with YouTube and myself included and I kind of recognize why because I'm just a dollar sign to these people and like I've been kind of like looking towards newer people, well not necessarily newer people, but like smaller channels in order to feel like I belong again, cause community is like slowly dwindling. And I feel part of that is because we're being treated as a dollar sign, which I don't want to be treated as and I don't want to treat the people who view me and like like my content as this might be the stupidest choice I've ever made but to be completely honest I don't want to sell you guys anything I don't really care for sponsors I don't really care about money like yes at the end of the day I just want to pay my bills doing what I love and what I care about but I don't want to do that if it means exploiting people who actually find interest in me. I see YouTube the way I see art, or well, music anyway, like to where you really want to create this and put it out to the world, but like making money is sort of a byproduct to that. You really just want to share your art. You want to share the emotions, the um, takes, the opinions, the, the creation you are having or creating, you wanna share that. But the money is just a byproduct, like, oh, people care about it enough to like pay for it. And so therefore, like I'm I'm getting like this is stable for me. I know this sounds super stupid, but I'm at peace with not making too much money in my life. I just wanna pay my bills, you know, go see friends every once in a while and just make content I love and enjoy that incites a conversation. I don't wanna chase the YouTube algorithm. It's too hard. Like, genuinely, it's too hard. It feels genuinely impossible to keep hitting this sort of like goal of like, I don't know, like a million or whatever like consistent views I would be getting. It just feels impossible because I'd have to follow trends and I'm not going to do that. I'm not that person. I'm a person who wanted to use the pain and hurt that I've experienced in my life in order to do something positive with it. And I don't feel exploiting my audience is positive. And this is not like a call out video or anything like that. This is just me saying how I feel. At the end of the day, this is my channel and I just say how I feel about things. When I was younger, I always wanted to make an impact on people's lives. And I realized that like on a global scale, that's kind of impossible. I'd, I'd have to do something insane to where that's even applicable. I can't do that. But at the very least, what I can do is die real and true to myself and I just want to be as honest as I can, regardless of any and all consequences that come with that. I'm okay dying a normal person. And I know that's like impossible for people to comprehend nowadays because everybody wants to be famous. Everybody wants to be an influencer. But genuinely, I just kind of want to vibe and like whoever sees my stuff sees it. Like I'm very thankful for it, but at the same time, I don't want to like control you guys or like plague your minds into watching my content and or buying whatever I'm trying to sell. The only thing I'd ever want to sell is just a plushie because like if I make a plushie, I think that'd be super cute and like if nobody buys it, whatever. At the end of the day, that's a huge goal for me. But otherwise, 
nothing. I, I don't really care about money. And I know that's so hard. That's so hard to say. But at the end of the day, I just, I can't find myself caring about it anymore. I just love life. And I just appreciate that, like, other people are going through struggles as well through this inflation. And I'm absolutely fine with, like, not taking any of their money. If they want to donate to me, that's absolutely fine. But, like, I don't want to take your money at the end of the day. But, yeah, that's my little ramble. It's my birthday today. If you want to say happy birthday, um, that's absolutely fine. I usually kind of get into these very uh, deep, introspective sort of, like, thoughts during my birthday to where I'm just like, what have I done with my life? And I got to say, all of last year, I kind of did well. I, like... I started loving myself. I started like caring about the world and just like sharing my opinion. And I think I'm in such a great spot. I'm just thankful for the people who watch me, thankful for my friends, thankful for just being alive, which was something I never had before. So yeah, sorry for like ranting or whatever like that. But um, yeah, thank you for watching. And uh, hopefully this year is absolutely banger, which it will be because you know, I'm kind of I'm kind of the best content creator ever created. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>